Hey everybody, it's Ginger on Wheels here again. I'm out with the Udeter skateboard again because I want to test out these new cloud wheels I got. So I'll roll the intro real quick and we're going to see if these cloud wheels are actually more comfortable and squishier than the stock wheels. All right, so we're on the Udeter skateboard. Let me show you these wheels real quick. These are our sexy new wheels. They are a little bit squishier to the feel than the uh, stock wheels. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but the middle part is actually raised a little bit and then they kind of taper out towards the sides. Let's see how they work. So when I was doing my initial test of the skateboard, I couldn't go down this road easily. The asphalt was too bumpy over there. My feet were vibrating all over the deck. And then there were a few uh, cracks on the sidewalk that almost threw me off the board. I can tell you right away though, just riding this right now, that it's much smoother. Look at that big divot, no problem. These wheels are, as soon as you step on the board and push the throttle, you can tell they're a huge upgrade. They're much quieter too. All right, we've got no cars. Let's do a top speed test. We are in uh, gear four on the board. 25 was the top speed last time, so let's see. Oh, I just lied. Okay, so it looks like we're hitting 23, 24. It is a little bit colder today. Maybe that's accounting for the extra mile per hour, but they're not any faster. So I One other noteworthy, <laughs> noteworthy thing about these wheels is they make a little noise. They make like a vibrating, buzzy, humming noise. You can see in the beginning when I was showing you the tires, they're kind of pleated. And those vibrate a little bit. It's like a humming noise. And one thing I found out while I didn't have the camera on just now was that, yeah, this is not a voiceover. I'm actually talking. I've got a mic by my mouth. But one of the things I noticed when I was turning just a little bit ago is that the pleated design on the wheels, if the ground is really rough, the board can actually slip out a little bit from underneath you. Might have to do with my weight. I'm 205 pounds right now without gear. So I don't know, maybe lighter riders will have less of a problem. I really like the remote on this board. Let me show you this thing. So when I first got the board, I noticed this was not the remote in the picture. If you look on the website, the remote's all black in the picture. So I messaged them and they said, this is an upgraded remote. The board I think is paired with this remote. So if you keep the remote with you, no one can go e-skating off with your board if they have another remote. I imagine most e-skates are like that, but it's kind of cool if you didn't know that. But it was pretty cool I noticed when I, uh, when I turn the remote on, the board turns on automatically. And if you turn the board on in proximity to the remote, then the remote will turn on too. Beautiful day. Let's go ripping through this tunnel. A while back, they spent like two years building a tunnel down here. And it's finally done for us to rip through. Womp, womp, womp. One thing about e-skates, I know I'm not supposed to be riding this thing in the wet, but these, these leaves are wet. It's been sunny all day, but come on. It's flicking up mud onto my boots. Coming in hot, look up. <laughs> Just not even looking. Woo! Oh yeah! Probably hit 30 miles an hour down that hill into the tunnel there. Sorry about the road noise, we're obviously right by the freeway. Going half the speed of the cars, but still having way more fun. All right, we've been going for about three or four miles. Let's see here. Down to two bars on the uh, battery for the board. I do really wish there was a percent readout or a voltage readout for the board so I know exactly how much battery I have because this thing just gives you four bars and two of them are gone so i'm guessing that means i have 50 percent but it could also mean 60 it could also mean 40 i don't know i'm gonna publish a one wheel video soon can you believe that but it's not to tell you to buy a one wheel it's because i think you shouldn't buy one and i want to show you why those people walking home from work didn't look nearly as happy as me maybe they need to get an e-skate big crack in the sidewalk just goes doop doop 
The wheels are squishy, so they compress when you go over big bumps like that. They act like little mini suspensions. We rode here. Yeah, that would have been garbage on the stock wheels. This is great. Buy the cloud wheels. God, these are sweet. Speed bumps, no problem. Woo! <laughs> yes. Oh, brakes need work. Brakes need work on this thing at top speed. I do think this could have stronger brakes. I'm in B4 right now, and that was pretty weak braking right there. All right, so we got our new battery. It's not in place though. And one thing I've noticed, this happened to me last time too. You gotta actually stomp on her to get her in. You gotta actually stomp on the battery to get it to click in. Now we're in. All right, so we're back in business. All right, so you can see now here, hopefully on the right there, that battery meter is full because we have a new battery in. It's a good solid cruiser though. I like the way the trucks feel. It's easy to turn. All right, you guys, I think that brings us to the conclusion of this video. Final thoughts? We're one mile per hour slower, slightly affected acceleration and deceleration, but it's way more comfortable, like miles and miles. It's almost borderline unsafe with those stock wheels going over big cracks and stuff. And with these new cloud wheels, it's, it's a night and day difference, really is. If you're over 200 pounds, you want long range, you're gonna look for something else. So if you're looking for a good value board, you weigh a less than 180 pounds, and you really like the idea of a swappable battery, I think the Udita S3 is a good choice. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for the next video.